In classical electromagnetism, magnetization or magnetic polarization is the vector field that expresses the density of permanent or induced magnetic dipole moments in a magnetic material. The origin of the magnetic moments responsible for magnetization can be either microscopic electric currents resulting from the motion of electrons in atoms or the spin of the electrons or the nuclei. Net magnetization results from the response of a material to an external magnetic field, together with any unbalanced magnetic dipole moments that may be inherent in the material itself, for example, in ferromagnets. Magnetization is not always uniform within a body, but rather varies between different points. Magnetization also describes how a material responds to an applied magnetic field as well as the way the material changes the magnetic field, and can be used to calculate the forces that result from those interactions. Physicists and engineers define magnetization as the quantity of magnetic moment per unit volume. It is represented by a vector m. Definition the magnetization field or M field can be defined according to the following equation, where dm is the elementary magnetic moment and dv is the volume element. In other words, the M field is the distribution of magnetic moments in the region or manifold concerned. This is better illustrated through the following relation, where M is an ordinary magnetic moment and the triple integral denotes integration over a volume. This makes the M field completely analogous to the electric polarization field, or P field, used to determine the electric dipole moment P generated by a similar region or manifold with such a polarization, where dP is the elementary electric dipole moment. The M field is measured in amperes per meter in SI units. Physics application The magnetization is often not listed as a material parameter for commercially available ferromagnets. Instead the parameter that is listed is residual flux density, denoted BR. Physicists often need the magnetization to calculate the moment of a ferromagnet. To calculate the dipole moment using the formula, we have that M equals dipole moment equals BRV, mu O, where BR is BR max, the residual flux density, expressed in Tesla, V is the volume of the magnet, expressed in cubic meters, mu O is the permeability of a vacuum, or 4 pi x 10 to 7 n, A2, magnetization in Maxwell's equations. The behavior of magnetic fields, electric fields, charge density, and current density is described by Maxwell's equations. The role of the magnetization is described below. Relations between B, H, and M The magnetization defines the auxiliary magnetic field H as which is convenient for various calculations. The vacuum permeability mu0 is, by definition, 699340000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
Other concepts that went along with it, such as the auxiliary field H, also have no real physical meaning in their own right. However, they are convenient mathematical tools and are therefore still used today for applications such as modeling the magnetic field of the Earth, magnetization dynamics. The time-dependent behavior of magnetization becomes important when considering nanoscale and nanosecond timescale magnetization, rather than simply aligning with an applied field. The individual magnetic moments in a material begin to process around the applied field and come into alignment through relaxation as energy is transferred into the lattice. Reversal Magnetization reversal, also known as switching, refers to the process that leads to a 180 degrees reorientation of the magnetization vector with respect to its initial direction, from one stable orientation to the opposite one. Technologically, this is one of the most important processes in magnetism that is linked to the magnetic data storage process such as used in modern hard disk drives. As it is known today, there are only a few possible ways to reverse the magnetization of a metallic magnet. An applied magnetic field, spin injection via a beam of particles with spin, magnetization reversal by circularly polarized light, i.e., incident electromagnetic radiation that is circularly polarized, demagnetization. Demagnetization is the reduction or elimination of magnetization. One way to do this is to heat the object above its Curie temperature, where thermal fluctuations have enough energy to overcome exchange interactions, the source of ferromagnetic order, and destroy that order. Another way is to pull it out of an electric coil with alternating current running through it, giving rise to fields that oppose the magnetization. One application of demagnetization is to eliminate unwanted magnetic fields. For example, magnetic fields can interfere with electronic devices such as cell phones or computers, and with machining by making cuttings cling to their parent.